Welcome my dear friends, what you have come to is phrasal verbs. What do you mean by phrasal? You know verb, what do you mean by verb? Eat, sleep, talk, jump, everything is called, everything are called, everything is called verbs, right? Okay, now you are coming for phrasal verbs. Phrasal verbs means what? With that verb you are adding a preposition and it gives a something different meaning rather than the exact meaning of the verb. For example, here you see number one break. What do you mean by break? You are cutting into pieces, right? Break. You break the stick. Break. Up means what? It's a preposition. Up means you can call not a preposition. It's an adverb. Up top. So break up means what? Something getting separated. I broke up my relationship with my friend. So broke up means what? My friendship with a friend as broken up separated so break up you can use broke up in past tense will break up breaking up has broken up had broken up will have broken up has been breaking up had been breaking up will have been breaking up so you can use any tense format got it okay next coming here number two keep up what do you mean by keep keep is something you're preserving keep is something you're preserving up is a adverb. So keep up. What do you mean by keep up? Keep means you are having something. Up means it's an ab adverb. So maintain something is called keep up. So what is the sentence given here? Keep up your enthusiasm. What do you mean by enthusiasm? Your energy level. Your, your spirit. So keep up your enthusiasm means maintain your enthusiasm. Have your main enthusiasm. That is what keep up. Next, third is put up. You know what do you mean by put? Show you. Put means what? P putting something on a table. Putting something over there, here. Putting means keeping something over there or here. Up means what? It is an adverb. So put up means showing your skills, showing your talents. Put up. So here what is the sentence given? Police put up a fight against the terrorists. So police are showing their skills. We against the terrorist. So, police put up a terrorist uh, against the terrorist. Police put up the put up a fight against the terrorists. Put up means showing your skills. Next, coming here, fourth, fourth, speak up. Speak means what you are speaking. Up means it is once again. Uh, it is a adverb. To speak without shyness. Speak up means to speak without shyness is called speak up. So here, you should speak up in the stage if you want to be a leader. You, you should speak up. Speak up means speaking without shyness. Speak without shyness is called speak up. So you should speak up in the stage if you want to be a leader. If you want to be a leader, you have to speak up. Speak means speaking without any shyness. So the phrasal verb speak up means, it simply means that speaking without any shyness. Next, look up. Look up. Look means what? You're looking up. It is an adverb. You're expecting help from somebody. Look up means expecting help from somebody. You see that uh, verb look has a different connotation over here. Different meaning over here. Look up means expecting help from somebody is called look up. I look up at my teacher for an advice. I expect and help and advice from my teacher. Number six. Give up. Give means you are giving. But up means it is an adverb. But what do you mean by give up? Leave it. You are leaving it away. You are leaving it away is called give up. So give means giving. Up means it is an adverb. But when both join together, it means that leaving it away. So the meaning is completely changed. So you have to by heart all these uh, uh, verbal phrases. For example, I gave up eating non-vegetarian. Gave up means stop. Gave up means stop. So, See, the meaning has completely changed. So, literally don't take the meaning of the verb. When it joins with a, uh, what, uh, an adverb or a preposition, the meaning completely changes. Gave up means it's a past tense, leaving it away. Next, coming here, seventh, cheer up. Cheer means what? Encouraging. Cheer. Cheer up. So, here, encourage others. Encouraging others is called cheer up. Cheer up means encouraging others. So, the audience cheered up the cricket players. The audience cheered up the cricket players, encouraged the cricket players. The audience 
encourage the cricket players. So, my dear friends, what do you mean by break up? Separated. What do you mean by keep up? Maintain. What do you mean by put up? Show your skills. What do you mean by speak up? Speak without shyness. What do you mean by look up? Expecting help from others. What do you mean by give up? Leave it. And what do you mean by cheer up? Encouraging. See, all these words you have to by heart and you should know in which tense to use according to the situation. See, so simple my dear friend, subject comes front. I use a subject, break or broke up, it comes as a verb format. Then, you ask a question, what did I break up? You get an answer, that is called object, subject, verb, object. In between the tense, it should change according to the situation, that's all, sentence is formed, nothing else. Now, coming here, eighth, bring up. See, bring means you are bringing something. Up is an adverb, but the bring up means what? Rear up, grow, take care. You are taking care of somebody. You are growing up the child. You are nurturing the child. You are making the child to grow. So, bring up means, you are not bringing a vegetable, bringing, a, bringing your uh, suitcase, bringing your book. But bring up means developing, making somebody to grow, rearing up, nurturing. I brought up my children traditionally. I brought up my tra children traditionally means what? In a custom oriented, culture oriented, tradition oriented. So, bring up means you are making somebody to grow, rear, nurture. And next word, turn up. Turn means you are turning this side. But turn up means what is the meaning exactly? Attend a meeting or a function. Attending a meeting or a function is called turn up. Turn up. So, here my friends did not turn up for my marriage. My dear friends did not come for my, for my marriage. Turn up means come, attend. Did not turn up means has not turned up, has not come for the marriage. So turn up, many turned up for today's program. Many of them came here. So turn up means what? Attending. Next coming here, own up. Number 10, own means what? Possess something. I own a car, I own a house. Own up means what? Taking responsibilities for good or bad. Own up means taking responsibilities for good or bad. Whatever it is, is good or bad, I am taking the responsibility. Something has happened, good or bad, I am taking the responsibility. So, she owned up her mistakes, she accepted her mistakes. She owned up her mistakes means what? She accepted her mistakes. Next, coming to 11th, wake up. Wake up means what? Getting out of the bed, rising out of the bed, arising from the bed. So, wake up means get up from the bed. He woke up at 6 a.m. in the morning. He got up at 6 a.m. in the morning. So, wake up means what? Getting up, getting up, getting up. Wake up means get up. Number 12, hold up means what? Don't release. Hold up means don't release. Keep them. Don't leave them outside. Hold up. See here, the thieves were holded up in their room. The thieves were rounded up in their room. They are unable to escape from the place. So, hold up means what? Do not release. Keep them. Make them to be prisoners. So, hold up. Next, number 13, catch up. Catch up means what? Catching means what? Catching a ball. But catch up means what? To reach to someone or somebody. Catch up means go and see somebody. Go and meet somebody. So, here I caught up with my friend who was driving very fast. See, he is driving in a Maruti car, 100 kilometers speed. I am driving in a Hyundai car. So, I have to go and catch him. I have to increase my speed and catch him. So, catching up means you reach someone who was driving very fast. That is what catch up. Next, put out. Put out means what? Stop. Put out means stop. Put out means what? Put means putting. But put out means stopping. So here, the fireman put out the fire in the building. The fireman put out. Put out means what? He put the fire off. Now the fire is not there. So he extinguished the fire. He stopped the fire. Put out means uh, check out, going out. We check out from the hotel after paying the bills. Check out means going out of the hotel. Check out means going out of the hotel. So, check out from the hotel after paying the bills means paying the money and going out of the room. Hotel is called check out. 
Check-in means going inside. Inside the hotel. You are booking a room and going inside is called check-in. Check-out means going out of the hotel. So, number eight. Uh, one minute, ma'am. So, madam, you drop a disturbance. Okay. So, my dear friends, what do you mean by bring up? Grow. Grow. Making them to grow. Yeah. Making them to rear up. Making them to nourish and bring up. Turn up means what? Attending, Attending a meeting. Making it's called turn up. Own up means what? Taking, responsibility. Taking the responsibility, whether it is good or bad. What do you mean by wake up? Get up from the Getting out from the bed. What do you mean by hold up? Do not release. You are just uh, catching them and keeping them. You are not releasing them. Catch up means what? To reach, to reach someone or somebody. Catch up. You are trying to catch them. What do you mean by put out? Stop. Stop. What do you mean by check out? Going, going. going out of the hotel is called. Going out of the hotel. You are booking a room. You are checking in. You are going out of the hotel. It is check out. So first word, what is it? Break, Break up. up means what? Cut. What is the second word? Keep up, Keep up means what? Maintain. Maintaining. Maintaining. Something. Number three, put up means what? Show your skills. Huh? Show your skills. Showing your skills. Speak up means what? Speak without shyness. Speaking without shyness. Look up means what? Expecting help from somebody. Expecting from somebody. Give up means what? Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Cheer up means what? Encouraging. Encouraging others. What do you mean by bring up? Take a grow. grow. Growing up. Growing. What do you mean by turn up? Attending. Attending. What do you mean by own up? Taking what do you mean by wake up? Get up. Get up from Getting out from the bed. What do you mean by hold up? Do not release. Do not release. What do you mean by catch up? To reach, to reach somebody. Put out means what? Stop. 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 What do you mean by check out? Going, Going out of the hotel. Hope you are able to understand. Now I request the gentleman, you please stand up. I will be asking one one questions to everybody. You please ready. Could you form a sentence using give up? Give up. At least three sentences you have to form. I, I am just randomly asking you. Give up. How do you form a sentence using uh, give up? I gave up my habit of uh, uh, eating sweets. I gave up my habit of eating sweets. sweets. I gave up past tense you are using. Okay. Something used in present continuous. Uh, I am trying to give up. Um, I am giving up. I am huh? giving up my habit to watch TV. Okay. Uh, good. Any? Uh, can you cheer up with perfect? Cheer up with perfect. Have plus past participle. Um, cheer up. Cheer ladies were cheering. Uh, uh, with pa past. With the, with the, okay. Perfect sentence. Any present past per, present perfect or past perfect or future perfect? Uh, when uh, Kohli was hitting a century, uh, cheer cheer leaders uh, has been cheering up players. Who, who has been cheering uh, up? Uh, cheerleaders were cheering oh, up. Cheerleaders. Uh, oh, okay. Okay. When Dhoni was batting, Dhoni has been cheered up by the cheerleaders. Okay. Yes. Good. Good. Next up. Uh, why not uh, you gentlemen? Please stand up. You. Stand up. Stand up. Can you form a sentence using bring up? Bring up. I brought up lot of things in my life. I lot of I brought up. Huh. I brought up lot of changes in my life. Uh, oh, brought up lot of changes in your life. You mean to say uh, something like you know something uh, traditional meaning of uh, bring up means making your children to grow. See, I was brought up by my uncle grandfather. I was brought up by my yeah, uncle or grandfather. Yeah. Brought up. Okay. Turn up. Attending a meeting or function. Turn up. Uh, Turn up. Uh, okay. Abdul Kalam came for a meeting. Many people came. How do you say? Abdul Kalam, Dr. Abdul uh, Dr. Kalam. Dr. Abdul Kalam uh, came to my marriage ah. uh, to attend the uh, reception. Uh, so many turned up. Many? Many turned up. Many people turned up for the for my marriage. Okay. Now you stand up. Okay. Uh, okay. Now you can you form a sentence using uh, write up. Uh, put up. Put up. Showing your skills. I I put up my knowledge in my career. 
Okay, I am showing my uh, skills in my career. career. Okay, able to understand? Please sit down. Please sit down. So, number kile ipolu the paaka po the phrasal verbs and the phrasal verbs. Phrasal verbs in dal inna. Yeran do vaathe kile vene chol kora inna seethi koring ringa. Ada munne de chol kalai seethi kol kiri. Galla atta mari bidi kira. Udha na thik break in dal inna vadi thi vudu vade. Appen bade vene yuri chol. Break up in dal something getting separated. Yero onru vadi thi vudi kira. I broke up my relationship with my friend. Yero de nanpo no de irka kuriya. Ora be naan murithu konde. So break up in dal murithu kol vade in dal sam. Renda itu keep up entah lawan dah itu tak kembali tu kalau tu, keep up your enthusiasm, monu dia, ucah ke arah bayi, bayi tu kalau ucah ke tu bayi tu kalau entah tu, muntah itu put up entah lawan, monu dia terang kalai kan bi, polis put up a fight against the terrorist, polis tiwir badi hilul kejar aku, tangkul dia terang mereka kalai khati nak kalai entah beri kerana, nang speak up entah lawan. Kuchamilamal, Vekamilamal, Pesuadu. You should speak up in the stage if you want to be a leader. Nihor Taliban Akavet the mental, Medile, Nandaka, Kuchamilamal, Vekamilamal. Or Dairi Thoran Pesa Ventum. Look up and are in there, expecting help from somebody. Yaro or Vedamilam, the Udavia in Ardu, look up. I look up at my teacher for an advice. Nan and Nodi Asri Redem. Yene Edupat Kirin and Dal, or Udavia. Or Udavia. So look up and dal, orang udah biaya itu part kira. Give up and dal, ini betul betul. I gave up eating non vegetarian. Nana saya ibam sahur udah ini orang idea aku betul betul. So give up and dal, betul betul ini ada tuh. Yang lain dah kah cheer up and dal ini, ucah kah padat tuh udah matra berkelai. Cheer up and dal, ucah kah padat tuh udah matra berkelai. The audience cheered up the cricket players. Anu parvi alat kel, bela ati biar berkelai, ucah kah padat tuh berkelai. Cheer up and dal, ucah kah padat tuh udah. Ada tuh dah kah, yang tuh bring up and dal ini. Rear up and just go. Rear up and tell in a column they play ballot to the grow ballot to the take care of credit to call with it. I brought up my children traditionally and not a column they play. Kalachara really lay ballot team traditionally in a Kalachara really lay. Add to that a turn up and down in a or will have a little column to pull with it. Makal were with it. None but can work with it. So on the car at all or will have a cover with a turned up and just will be called. My friends did not turn up for my marriage. You know a third one of the key and number can bar a bill a turn up and down. Band kalendu kul bade, barang bilai yang tu bade. Kira tu, ada tu dah ke own up pendal, poru pe yetu kul bade, pertama bade. Taking responsibilities for good or bad, nalla do ke itu do, ada tu poru pe yetu kul bade. She owned up her mistakes, awal awal orang ini, tawal tawar kelai poru pe yetu kul dal yang tu bade. Kira tu, wake up, yang dal ini, wake na injiri kira tu, apna melah, ana rendeng jen ini ada tu kuli kira tu, padik ke ilu rendeng ilu bade, tuhungi ilu bade. He woke up at six a.m. in the morning. Awan kahle, ar manikii, padukai ini rendu, yelun dan entu beri kira de. Adat itu hold up entar inna, do not release, sikit kunda arkan. Hold on entar inna, hold up entar inna, mati kundu bitta arkan. The thieves were holded up in their room. Thirudar kelar awar kelar arai ilai sikit kunda arkan. Thirudar kelar awar kelar arai ilai sikit kunda arkan. Hold up entu beri kira de. Padi muntu catch up entar inna, waru warai, pedik padu, waru warai, poy arai padu, waru war, poy kira bekhat tik, cendra awarai. Part padu, adzan catch up itu soli kirim. I caught up with my friend who was driving very fast. Yen nona re nampen beg mak car leh cintu hunter rendan. Nana awanai beg mak pin doran de, awanai pedit tibit ten entu beri kira de catch up. Adat dah ke put out ten dal nirlti entu beri kira de. The fireman put out the fire in the building. Fireman entu dal ina ti anai pu mani darkal, ti anai pu padai narkal. Katedat itu lullah nerupai, anai tar kelan dua hari kerana check out ini dah lina, poh bade. Ipa check in ini dah lina, orang hotel boy room ada keringa, room ada tu ulle boy kiri kerana, ada dah check in, ada hari kerana boy, orang nala, rentan nala, paten nala, tangki kiri kerana, ada check in ini dua hari kerana dah tam, check out ini dah lina, ni kerana hari ini kali bani baru bade, ini check out ini tu soli kerana, we check out, we check out from the hotel after paying the bills, nanggal hari kunlaan. Anda large kunda na kasih seluruh tiub itu arai tiub itu kari seluruh tiub itu mentu beri kerana so break up pendal nara wadai pada keep up pendal tak kau itu kulubade put up pendal ini terima ikhlas kan pada kan bi pada speak up pendal ini kucham ilamal pesu itu look up pendal ini mari ada ibu dan mata berlay pat pada give up pendal ini tiub itu beri kerana cheer up pendal ini ucah kau padat tiub itu bring up pendal ini walat tiub itu Turn up and down in our villa will be called the whole way. Won up and down for a book. I had to call with a wake up and down in a worrying yellow with a hold up and down in a mat. Cool with a catch up and down in a world where we get the kitchen. I have a pity for the put out and down in the other. I had to check out and down in a 
அறையை காலி செய்வது ஹோட்டலில் ரூம் எடுத்துகிட்டு அறையை காலி செய்வதை செக் அவுட் என்று சொல்வார்கள் ஹோப் யூ ஆர் ஏபிள் டு அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் தரோலி ஆர் யூ கிளியர் பை ஹார்ட் பண்ணிக்கொள்ளுங்கள் ஏகப்பட்ட வார்த்தைகளை பார்த்து விட்டோம் ஏற்கனவே எண்பத்தி ஒன்று ஃப்ரேசல் வேர்ப்ஸ் பார்த்து விட்டோம் இப்போ பதினைந்தும் பார்க்கிறீர்கள் இன்னும் நிறைய வரப்போகிறது அதையும் பார்த்து உங்கள் ஆங்கில திறனை வளர்த்தி கொள்ளுங்கள் ஏன்னா வாக்கியத்தில் உடம்புல உயிர் எப்படி முக்கியமோ வாக்கியத்துக்கு வினைச்சொல் மிக மிக முக்கியமானது தேங்க்யூ வெரி மச்